Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a Mexico Monday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. And I call it a Mexico Monday because what I've got is a cerveza. Um, it's a brew that is brewed there in Mexico. Um, and it is actually brewed in Monter Mon Monterey, Monterey, maybe. I don't know. It's got some stuff here I can't read on it because it's in Spanish, I reckon. But anyway, what I've got for you today is a beer that I've tried before, but it's been a long time and I can't really remember uh, what it tasted like. I had it at a restaurant and it was the first time I ever tried it and I, I seems like it was okay. I mean, I wasn't disappointed in it or anything, but I can't remember what it tasted like. And... Uh, uh, me, me and a guy at work was talking and, and uh, he's a Hispanic guy and and I asked him I said have you ever had any Tecate and uh, he, he said oh you mean Tecate <laughs> so I guess that's how you pronounce it Tecate um, it's a Tecate original this stuff it, it says on here Heco Heco in Mexico or Mexico Heco in Mexico Echo Echo in Mexico, I guess is how you pronounce that. Uh, Baja, California, uh, Desde 1944. So it says Cerveza Original, born in the borderland of Baja, California, Mexico, Tecate, embodies the unapologetic energy of Mexican Americans in the USA. We are still proudly brewed in our namesake town of Tecate using the same high quality recipe since 1944 all right this stuff is a 4.5 percent alcohol by volume and we're going to try it today on a mexico monday and i've got my buddy wayne shirt on this is uh bucks county beer reviews that's my buddy wayne up there in pennsylvania and he was kind enough to send me this cool shirt and it's actually got my web my youtube channel on the back of it with my name and everything it's just a really cool shirt and i just i love it i think it's awesome and uh so he sent me this y'all go check out bucks county beer reviews on youtube if you want to wayne does a good job and he's he's been kind enough to send me some beers and and this cool shirt so anyway that that's uh my buddy wayne Anyway, uh, let's see. We're going to try this Tecate original today on a Mexico Monday. Let's see what we got here. Pour it vigorously. Get some head on that thing. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pretty gold beer. Light gold. Pretty light gold. Well, dang. On the camera, it looks dark. But it's actually light. I can get my hat in the background. I need to get me some kind of board or something. I guess it's white, so I can stand up, stand it up here, and put the bear up against it, so you can tell the dead gum color of the beer. Um, because this background, I got black on this side, red on this side. My hat's kind of green. You can't, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, it's a pretty beer. Nice head. It's got the typical domestic beer aroma, but what I find interesting, just right off the bat, is the head is lingering on this thing. Uh, for a, a, a lager that's only 4.5% ABV, um, man, most of your domestic beers, the head be gone already. They usually dissipate pretty quick, but this one's kind of lingering around there. It's kind of surprising. It's got the domestic beer flavor in the head just a little bit and something just a little bit more. Just it seems like a little bit more richness in the flavor of the head there. Takati Original, 4.5% ABV. Oh, Mexico Monday. Pretty brew. And, and kind of a different taste in the head as well. Um, a little bit different from your typical domestic beer. But uh, this Takati is for all American workers. 
Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families just like I do. Y'all watch out for the eclipse today. There's supposed to be an eclipse today. I'm going to put my, two of my GoPro cameras out. One I'm going to point toward the sky, the sun as best I can, and the other and I'm just going to point in, a, in some scenery because it's supposed to get, Tennessee's supposed to get 99% coverage, what they said. So I'm going to put my GoPros out and have one of the sky as best I can and then another just of, of a field and see how dark it really gets uh, through the eclipse. But it's supposed to be cloudy here tomorrow, which figures that always happens. We have some kind of celestial something going on, and I'll be damned. Tennessee weather, we're going to rain or cloud up or whatever. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Anyway, I love and appreciate y'all, brothers and sisters. Cheers. Ooh, almost killed it. Uh, mm. That's good beer. Now, now let me tell you, I, I, I'm actually doing this after work uh, on Sunday. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this last night. This is when I'm doing this video. I usually record these, you know, a week or so in advance, sometimes way in advance. But I kind of, you know, been working and, and, and kind of got behind a little bit. And on my last video, last Saturday, I said I was going to do a Mexico Monday. And I was like, well, dang, I ain't done that video yet. <laughs> I've got, I'm used to doing, you know, Wednesday through Fridays. I've got a bunch of those made up. But Tuesdays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, I don't. So I had to get, get on the ball and get this done tonight. But like I said, it, it's after work. I've worked four days straight, four 12-hour days. And I got tomorrow off so I can, you know, check out the eclipse and stuff like that. And uh, I'm, I'm thirsty and I was wanting a beer pretty bad anyway. So that makes this taste really good to me. Because <laughs> it's been a long week and uh, I ain't had a beer all week. Y'all, I don't drink, uh, you know, on the days before I have to go to work. I mean, I might have a beer or two, but as far as, you know, sitting down and enjoying six or seven, something like that, I don't do it, man. I, I don't, m most of the time, I don't have a beer the night before I have to go to work because I take my work seriously. I want to be clear-headed and able to do what I got to do. So I just don't drink on those days. Um, but on my days off, now, see, the way my, the way my uh, work schedule is, I work three, I'm off four. I work four, and then I'm off three. And then occasionally I'll have an overtime day, which is a 12-hour day thrown in there somewhere sometimes. But I have quite a few days off to do my beer, my beer reviews. So I try to do them then, but I just ain't had time. All right, but this beer here, because I'm really craving beer after work, it tastes really good. Ah. It's got just something a little bit more than, than say, uh, uh, Coors or something like that. As a matter of fact, I may do a, a taste challenge between Takati and Coors. I've got some Coors in my fridge. I won't post it Tuesday. It'll probably be a couple of weeks before I post it, but I think I'm going to do that because this is just really delicious right now. Um, I'm going to score it a B plus uh, because I think I'm a little bit prejudiced because I'm wanting a beer so bad. I, I, I doubt if it's really as good as, <laughs> that sounds stupid, y'all, but y'all know how it is. If you're really hungry, you'll eat something, and, and it's just freaking delicious. And then the next time you eat it, it's like, well, this is just not as good as I remember it being because you were hungry the first time you ate it. That's, that's what I've experienced. And because I'm really thirsty for a beer and just got off work, this is really good. <laughs> Uh, I'm still, I'm going to score to B plus. Um, I think that's a fair score either way. But uh, I've got, you know, I bought a 12 pack of them, so I've got plenty to drink. Uh, anyway, that's been a Mexico Monday. I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.